Hello everyone. Uh, it's Friday afternoon. I think it's a week of 11 and I'm here with Mr. Obet. Hey, how you and doing? He's, he's uh, finishing up the day. It will be the last day of the outside. I think we're going to be finished with everything on the outside. I think he said he's got to come back and maybe touch up a window or two. But uh, other than that, he's done an outstanding job. Uh, yeah, clean up the windows. He's going to clean up the windows and uh, um, get those scraped off. He's coming back next week to finish that up. But it's just just a little bit of touch-up stuff here and there. I don't know where everybody can see it. I'm going to show you this one because it's uh, the sun shining. If I go around the front, it'll look green. I mean, look black. But I hope everybody can see that color. That is Charleston green. Uh, it's a really dark green. Uh, kind of in between a hunter green and a black. But I think when we get the shutters on, and now we're thinking about maybe not putting shutters, but... Uh... Our plan all along has been to put shutters on this house. But after my son Glenn brought up not putting shutters on the house, and old houses back then never had shutters on them, we're kind of rethinking that. So I'm going to ask everyone else, what do y'all think? Do you think the house looks better without shutters, or do you think it will look better with shutters? Please comment down below and let me know your opinion. Shutters or not? It does not even look like the same house on the outside. The footprint has uh, it stayed the same. Yeah. But man, it does not it does not look even look like the same house. Yeah. We are so tickled and I want to thank Mr. Obet and his crew of men. Thank you guys for the hard job, hard work, and uh, and it really, really looks good. Thank everyone for watching. Week 11 update, the finish of the outside. Hello everyone. I was talking with Mr. Obet uh, in that last little clip that you seen. And his men were waiting and it was late Friday afternoon. I mean, it's like after six o'clock and they were ready to go. So I kind of rushed through that video a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit more time and let y'all see the house and walk around it one more time so you can kind of see it and not where i don't have to rush around the house so much and the sun is going down behind the clouds uh, or behind the trees not behind the clouds and so you can get a little better view of the house now than you could earlier you uh, know i hope everyone likes it like i said in the clip before this He's got a little bit to do around the door and those two windows on uh, the porch and the two windows on the back of the porch. But uh, I think they have done, and I've said it several times, I think they've done an outstanding job. We're really, really tickled. The outside is finished. And now uh, we got to tackle the inside. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where I'll walk in there and show everyone the inside or not because it looks the same that it's looked in all the other uh, clips and videos that I've showed you. Uh, if you want to go back and see what the house looks like on the inside, just go back and look at some of those videos and you can see. Uh, I've tried to document this house. Uh, most everything that we've done to it so far, I've tried to keep uh, a good record for not just for... Um, the folks that are watching on YouTube and thank you everyone for watching and following along but uh, I don't know where I've told it in other videos I don't know where everybody has, has heard this but uh, this channel is not monetized so I don't get any money from it I am doing this to preserve the history of this house for my family because I am a tired old man uh, I'm getting in my twilight years now so to speak and I want my grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and on down. I hope this house lasts for many more years. And I want them to be able to go back and see what this house looked like before it looked like this. And, uh, and so they can kind of see what the house did look like. Uh, if you go back and look at some of the other videos, some of my first videos, we actually had to move this house. Uh, there's probably for some people watching that don't even know that but yeah, we moved this house This is the second time this house has been moved 
and if you go back and watch some of my really earlier videos you'll see that the whole process of moving it now those those videos were not filmed for youtube and they are not up to the standards that i'm doing now i didn't have a gopro then and um uh, if i filmed them mostly with the little camera that i had digital camera but um anyway i still documented the history part of it but i'm gonna back up and let everyone get a see if you can get a pretty good view of the front and i know i've walked around this house and y'all have seen the videos uh if you've watched the other videos you've seen it uh, dozens of times that's all i do it seems like is walk around the house and talk about it but that's all that, that I, I wanted i want to show the progress each week of what we've done to the house and that's really the only way i know to show it it's just to walk around and talk about it as i'm showing everyone but i'm just really really tickled mr obet seems to be tickled to be finished with the outside i am really tickled to be finished with an outside and now we, we mr obed is going to have to pull off he's going to work on uh another job we've got to wait for some other contractors to come in insulation contractors uh, electrical contractors and um uh plumbing contractors have got to come back and finish their rough end because we've changed some things and we've talked about talked about that in some other videos but <clears throat> and then after we get all those things done uh mr obet will be back and uh and then we will finish that inside of the house uh don't worry the videos are not stopping we're gonna we still got to uh we'll still be filming what the plumbers are doing and and uh the insulation guys uh there'll still be plenty of videos there'll still be a video coming out every saturday for everyone to watch but uh go back and watch the some earlier videos if you want to see the inside but it is uh this is the end of the outside i hope everyone likes it because like i said earlier i love it thank you so much for watching please like and share with your family and friends and anybody that you know that might would like this kind of video like i said i don't make any money off of this this is all just for fun for me but uh i do think that other people outside of my family and uh the few people i've got that are following would love to see it so thank you so much the ones that have been following along in the journey of getting my precious house finished
It had been a few weeks since I had flew my drone and I forgot to charge the battery the night before and so I started with a really low battery on my drone but I really wanted to get at least a, a couple of flights around the house so we could get uh, some good video being it was the last day of them finishing the outside of the house and I really wanted to get some good footage and I rushed to get the uh, to get the footage and you can see it's all jerky and snatchy and then you see right here at the end um, it, the drone took over and I didn't have any control over it and it landed on top of my chop. Uh, thank you Jesus it didn't tear it up but I had no control over it it landed on its own. Okay let's try this again. I went and put another battery in it and this battery was low also. So I started with two low batteries today but I did want to get a little more footage. I know that other footage was going to be real jerky and snatchy because I was trying to fly my drone so fast. And in this video, it's pretty much the same thing. I was in a hurry trying to get some footage and uh, it still didn't turn out good footage. But uh, at, least I, at least I got to fly it this time and at least I got to land it. It, uh, it uh, didn't land on its own. I, I got to land the drone. So I hope everyone has enjoyed the rebuild of our house uh, we've only done the outside of it so we're only really halfway but i hope everyone has enjoyed i have really enjoyed the process of doing it uh, it's been a lot of work and a, a, a lot of uh, running around and a lot of uh, getting stuff done and traveling back and forth but it's been so worth it because i think the house has really turned out great and I hope, like I said, everyone has enjoyed me filming it. Now that we've got the outside finished, really the fun is just getting ready to get started. We have got so many plans for the inside. There's so many things that we can do in there. And I think that uh, everybody is gonna like what we're gonna do on the inside. The outside, and there's not a whole lot we could do. I mean, we, well, we didn't want to change the footprint of the house. We didn't want to change anything. We did change the color up on the house a little bit and, uh, and make it look a little different. We tried to keep the house looking as much to period like it was when it was originally built as we possibly could and use uh, today's materials. I hope everyone likes the color and the, the color scheme that my wife picked out. Uh, I think she did a really good job. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in because like I said, we're just getting started on the inside. And I think everyone is just going to love what we're going to do on the inside. It's going to look amazing. So continue to watch. There's a video coming out every Saturday. Hello everyone. I just wanted to give everyone an update on what's going to be happening going forward. As you can see, we're finished with the outside of the house, and I think Mr. Obed and his crew did an outstanding job. But we're only halfway on the process. We still like all of the inside work to do, and I can't wait to get started. But because of some unforeseen things that come up in some other businesses and some other things that I have going on, we've had to stop on the house right now. I had to get Mr. Obed and his crew to start work on another project of mine. And so we're, ha we're having to put the house on hold for a little bit. Not for long, so don't, don't get too upset. We're, uh, but we've had to put it on hold. Mr. Obed, had to, like I said, he's working on a different job. And that job is totally, totally different than uh, what the old house is. But I have decided because it's so much different uh, and because he can't be working on the old house, uh, I'm making a little video of that. And that'll be coming out in the next week or two. I don't know where to be the next video or not. But it will be coming out in the next week and it'll probably be a four to six week series. Uh, don't want to get hold everybody in suspense. But all I can tell you is <laughs> it's going to be a project like nothing you have ever seen before. Uh, nothing I have ever seen. 
Um, so hang on. It'll be out in the next few weeks. I hope you will come back and watch it and watch that series on it uh, while we're taking a little break on our, um, on our old homestead house. It's going to be... It's going to be quite an undertaking, and all I can tell you is come back and watch it because it'll be it'll be something that uh, uh, something that I was not looking forward to doing, but something I just said we we had to just pull off this job and and take care of business so to speak, and start on this totally different job working on it. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching so far. It has really been a pleasure doing the videos. Uh, I have really had a blast doing the editing. I, I thought I was really going to hate editing to start with, but I have come to really love it. And um, uh, it takes quite a while. It's, th these videos are not easy to make. It does take a lot of my time. But I have, uh, I have really enjoyed it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Please come back and watch this next little series coming up. Because if you, don't, if you miss that, <laughs> it's going to be uh it's going to be something worth watching um it's going to be a shock factor when you see it when it first starts it's going to hit you right in the face and you're going to say man what has he got himself into now as soon as this little series coming up is over with we got some more stuff that we're going to be doing to the house and we're going to get back started on it so please come back and watch i think you will enjoy the series coming up and I know you're going to enjoy the inside of the house because we're going to have a blast and we got a lot of things planned. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.